spring. Thanks to the men of the above, God, and also thanks to Cameron Duncan. Without him, none of this would have been possible for myself. So I just want to say thank you guys, and hope I, I hope we gave you guys some great fights over the crew. Love you guys. And then if you have any questions, uh, I'll recognize you. Hi, everybody. Just like Brandon said, you know, when, uh, when the body's just not there to, to do it, you could try whatever it is inside the ring. If he just can't do it, can't do it, you know. Nothing we could do about it. I support him 100%. He's got uh, health. He's got a great family good friends around them, good friends that are, that are always going to be with them. We, uh, we want to thank all of you guys, his fans, especially our fans, for all the support and everything you guys always did uh, following his career. All I know is that, you know, he gave us great fights. You know, he did what a lot of people never thought he would have even accomplished. I think uh, his career was great, and uh, if he decided to... Uh, to hang it up, I support him 100%. Thank you guys for, for the support. I know that a lot of you guys might already have grandchildren, but those that don't, 50 years from now, your kids will be watching his fights because they were pretty exciting. So, you know, thank you all. Any questions? Yeah. Brandon, Brandon, I know, I, I know you're you're not the type to make excuses, but for whatever reason, you did not quite look yourself tonight. It, it looked like you were sluggish. Was that uh, the weight, which you, you did seem to have problems making? You weren't able to make it on your first attempt, or did you feel as good as ever tonight? It's just when the punches are done, man. When you when it's time to hang up your career, when you good thing I know is that now, you know, uh, in the gym, it was very hard for me to get back active. And, you know, when it's, when it's done, it's done. You listen to your body, and I listen to my body, and it was over with. And he did come with the perfect shot to the body. I'm not taking nothing away from Timothy Bradley. He's one hell of a fighter. And he did come with the body shot, and, hey, it is what it is. And I went down, and I couldn't continue. In those, in those early rounds, in those early rounds particularly, uh, you were given a real spirited effort, and then it seemed like, uh, was there ever a point in the fight where you got discouraged? where you felt like the fight was getting away My from you. body wasn't doing the same that I wanted to do. The trigger, nothing was the same. Uh, I tried to pull the trigger, it wouldn't let it go. So that's why I said it's time to hang up when it's time to hang up. Does it suck? Fuck yeah. I love the sport so much. I hate walking away from it, but when it's time to go, it's time to go. Brandon, obviously you're in the right now, and you're you're in the moment of defeat, and you know you had a long layoff, as you referred to in the ring. Are you sure that you do want to hang it up? Maybe it's another opponent, and come right back that you could maybe look sharper. Nah, Robert, you know, you when I made up my mind, I made up my mind. You know, I'm not gonna go in the ring and fool myself and fool everybody else and make myself look like a jackass and just get beat the fuck up. There's no point of that. You know what I mean? Uh, I made great money in my career. I've been smart. I got a smart wife that helped me take care of my money. And I just gonna live life from now, man. You know what I mean? It sucks, because like I said, I, I love this sport so much. It, it hurts just to walk away. But hey, when it's time to hang up, it's time to hang it up. Hey, Brandon. Brandon. Um. Um, I know you want to retire, but you know Robert also retired at a young age. Do you still want to be in the sport and train? Maybe because I know you work with a lot of those kids at the gym. Do you still want to be involved with the sport in, in, in some way? That's something in the air. You, you don't know. Life is short. It's crazy. You don't know. But as of right now, right now for me, I think if I start training, I'm gonna want to do it again. And I, I just can't train nobody. You know what I mean? I just gonna take my time, enjoy my life with my family, and just chill. I'm hey, gonna Brandon. Netflix and chill. Right, yeah. 
Hey, Brandon, you had a great career. Not too, many people, not too many people can say they've been in the ring with Tim Bradley and Manny Pacquiao. I just want to ask you, if you compare the two since you've been in the ring with both of them, how would you compare their styles and them as both fighters? Well, you know, Pacquiao was way different than bro, fucking uh, Bradley. Pacquiao was just awkward, Southpaw. It was awkward, you know. You can see I was, it was very frustrating for me from the first round with Pacquiao. Bradley, he just come with a perfect body shot. Actually, in the second round, he come with a good body shot. After that, it just, my body never recovered really well. And it just kept going, I kept going. I fired with spirit, and he come again with the body shot, and it went down. And at the end of the day, compared them to, Bradley had a game plan, he followed it, and he executed it, and I guess his game plan was to go to my body, and that's what he did. And he fucking got me pretty good with the damn body shot. That hurt it. Brandon, you've been involved in some pretty intense prize fights uh, in your career. Was this decision based on uh, the result from tonight, or was this an accumulation of all the wars you've been in uh, previously? No, it was just tonight I seen it. My body wasn't reacting the way it should be. Uh, the punches wasn't throwing out, the fire. I, I didn't really have that fire like I usually have. And why, why be in the ring and just take a beating for it? You know what I mean? I'm not gonna take a beating for like that for no no reason. But so it is what it is, and it happened. You know, tonight wasn't my night, and tonight I find out that I think it's time for hang up the glove because I'm not just I don't want this to be even worse. I don't want the next time I get in the ring and I get knocked the fuck out and hurt myself. So uh, I'd rather just take it now and realize it now. That's a day, man up, and just deal with it today. Brandon, right here. You say you're going to retire, and I wonder, uh, you're 29 years old, what, what do you want to do with the rest of your life? Enjoy my, f enjoy my family, enjoy my kids. That's what I want to do, family and kids. My kids are my number one, I love my kids to death, and make up the times I never got to enjoy them. You want to stay around boxing? Any you never know, you never know. Boxing is crazy. I'm not going to fight again, I know that for sure. When I make up my mind, I made up my mind. If Robert ever needs my assistant, ever needs me help in the ring, in the gym, I help him out. Bob, I want to ask you, if you, uh, you promoted Brandon his entire career, you were ringside for all the great fights he had, can you just uh, briefly sum up your thoughts on Brandon's career? I think Brandon had a great career. One of the most courageous men I've ever seen in the ring. I remember fights when he looked like he was unfinished, and he came back, remember what that big tall guy that he fought for the I think, lightweight title and uh, knocked him out. Uh, real warrior. But I must say this, when a young man like Brandon has saved his money so he's comfortable and then he says, I want to retire, I not only support it, I applaud it. Because boxing is a very, very dangerous sport. It's not something that you do just to do to earn a couple of more dollars. If you've made your money and you decide you want to fight, not fight anymore, I applaud that because I think that 20 years from now, he'll be very, very happy that he made that decision. And I made it as far as anybody ever thought I could. People thought I would never make it this far. People thought I would never be fighting in the big fights. None of this stuff. Nobody gave me, ever gave me doubt. Nobody ever gave me credit. But I proved those people wrong. So, you know, it's time for them to say it's over. And I'm done. No more questions? Any other questions? Let's a round of applause for Brandon Bam Bam Rio. Tim Bradley will be here in about five minutes. You know, Dan, it's sad in a way, but in a other way, it's really joyful. What? 
Nobody in their right mind wants to. Is Bradley, is Bradley in the running for a Pacquiao fight? And where do things go from here for Pacquiao? Pacquiao will now review the tape of this fight. The tape of Pacquiao will review the tape of this fight, uh, the uh, tape of Terence's fight, and, and, and a few other fights of Terence because I don't think he's seen Terrence, and uh, Amir Khan's, and he'll make a decision. How prominent were you, will your voice be in it, and based on what you've seen now from Timothy Bradley, can you say, one, two, three, these are my picks? I don't make picks, not with Manny. I don't make picks. That would be wrong, because then people would say that I'm pulling the strings and he's a puppet, which he assuredly isn't. fight is the United States. He has plenty of time. He's relatively young. Will take the time. Uh, he has uh, Esquiva uh, Falco is here. And uh, that's still a big fight in Brazil. You know, big Japanese population in San Paulo. So he'll improve. He would, you know, he, I think he was a little overwhelmed coming over here and fighting. That's that, the proof of the pudding. He can come in in his next fight and look sensational. And then I'd say maybe one or two more. We'll see. He has to fight more intelligent. You saw at the, at the end of the fight when he was keeping his distance and hitting his opponent for the distance, he was much more effective than when he was closing close with his opponent because then his strength was negated. He had to fix the size on the opponent. So you stand outside and you hit him from the outside and you jab, jab, jab. Jab is a big weapon. And he didn't do that. He went and he engaged and he let the guy tie him up in close. That was not his fight. 